Hello, Rolly Z01BQD. Over the last uh, two or three months I've been travelling around New Zealand and activating uh, several of the parks around New Zealand for parks on the air. And so one or two summits for summit on the air and quite a few of the lakes for the New Zealand Lakes Award. And uh, you can see behind me here a, a lake that's in a very famous place here in New Zealand called Rotorua. Uh, most tourists that come to New Zealand will certainly uh, visit Rotorua. It's uh, famous all over the world as being a uh, uh, for its geothermal activity. And as you can see in this lake behind me, uh, there's uh, lots of coloration in it, and that's due to the mineral content of the water that colors the rocks. And uh, uh, in fact, this lake here has uh, little bubbles coming up through the through the porous rock. It almost looks like uh, bubbles uh, uh, coming up out of a champagne bottle. In fact, that's the name of this pool called the Champagne Pool, or sometimes the Artist Palette. Anyway, I'm uh, going to operate uh, two or three uh, from two or three lakes around uh, Rotorua, and uh, uh, to put them on for the Lakes Award. And as we go around, I'll uh, mention the the lake ID number for it, and also uh, attempt <laughs> uh, to give you the Maori name for uh, the various lakes. Some of them are quite difficult. And uh, so, come along with me, and uh, we'll have a look around and as we go, and we'll do some operating around some of the lakes in this uh, lovely little area called Rotorua. So come on, let's go, shall we? Here's just one of the lakes at uh, Rotorua, very close to the main highway, so you can hear cars and so on that in, uh, in the background. And the lake identifier for this is Zulu Lima Lima 0754. 0754, Lake uh, Te Mimio Tuameki. Lake Te Mimio and uh, this is just one of the mud pools associated with that lake, just beyond the uh, uh, the bushes uh, in the background there is the main lake itself. And I've just set up uh, alongside the fence line here to operate and activate this lake. All right, operating another lake uh, for us at the moment, and uh, here we go. Whoa, steam, plenty of it. It'll be okay. That's enough uh, from this lake at the moment, and moving on to another lake. This lake's the edge of uh, Lake uh, Te Roto, Apa Noi uh, Omarama. Lake Te Roto, Apa Noi Omarama, uh, Zulu Lima Lima. Uh, 0759 Zulu Lima Lima 0759 Apologies for the traffic noise in the background but we're pretty close to the road here and uh, this lake is, uh, uh, is just a little tributary off the side of the, the main lake 
but uh, there's boiling water in there. You certainly wouldn't want to get into there. There's boiling mud and uh, boiling water. And there's a third or the fourth lake I've activated today from uh, the Rotorua area. Once again, a, uh, another thermal lake. Very, very hot indeed. Steaming away there. But uh, really pleasant, isn't it, just to stand here and operate and uh, make a few contacts for New Zealand Parks Award. Uh, no, sorry, New Zealand Lakes Award, even though we are in a park as well. The third lake uh, to activate in Rotorua, uh, in this uh, trio of lakes really, is uh, 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 lake number Zulu Lima Lima 0201. Once again, quite close to the, uh, the road, you can actually hear the road behind, uh, road noise behind me. And in the background there is a the golf course. Another thermal lake, little pockets of uh, steam coming up off the water uh, in little areas. And this will be my last activation of a lake in Rotorua uh, this time out. I hope you've enjoyed this series of uh, lakes around uh, New Zealand for the New Zealand Lakes Award.